yeah, I like this fight. Um, Jaime Munguia, he's one of my favorite fighters to watch uh, these days, too, because he's action-packed. He throws a high volume of punches, a high frequency of punches, and he blocks with his face. He blocks with his face. He blocks with his face. <laughs> oh, wow. You know what I'm saying? All action. So he's, <laughs> he's the definition of I don't care. If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm posted. If I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGNGM. Praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. I don't know what time it is. The doctor's in the house. Check this out, man. Today, we have an announcement. Those of you that pay attention to the channel, you already hit to this announcement that I'm about to give you. But now, I'm about to make it in an official capacity. We have the return of Jaime Munguia. Man, Jaime Munguia is coming back, man, for his first fight officially signed to top rank. You know, he done left Golden Boy and Oscar De La Fishness behind. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, probably from the advisory. Uh, uh, <laughs> probably from the advisory of uh, old Cinnamon, you know, and, and Cinnamon probably told her, hey, man, get up out of there, man. Golden Boy built Canelo Alvarez, period. It's about to go back. The company you fought under for, for, for decades has always had one name, and it's mine. So put some fucking respect on it. Put some fucking respect on it. Motherfucker. All right. Want, I'm a for you too, so he probably took the advice from Cinnamon and um and yeah, it made made his exit, man. He's now with Bob Aaron on top rank and he will be fighting Eric Bazinia. You know, Eric Bazinian. I've seen him fight a couple times. You know, he's an undefeated fighter. I believe he's thirty two and oh. Uh with one draw, I believe. His last fight was a draw against uh I believe it was uh, Sha Shaquille Shaquille Finn, uh Jamaican Badman, you know, aka the Jamaican juggernaut, you know what I'm saying? Shout out shout out, shout out to him, man, one time for Jamaica. Boop, boop. Me but yeah, um, so you know Eric Bazinian, I have to go watch some more of his fights, but off the top of my head, I remember seeing him fight three Two or three times. Remember, I seen him fight Ronald Ellis, who's famously um, uh, a sparring partner. He's frequently a sparring partner for uh, Canelo Alvarez, so that's why I know him from. And um, and I saw him fight somebody else too, man. Uh, Atlantis Fox, I believe that was on ESPN some years back. So if I'm not mistaken, so I, I probably seen him fight more times than that too. But those are the only ones that I could recall off the top of my head. So I think this is a good fight, man. I know a lot of people are gonna denounce it and say that oh, this is a bad fight, man. You cherry picking again because you know. They accuse Jaime Munguia of having a padded uh, 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 record, right? You know, he has some 40-some fights. Damn! I'm sorry. And I'll be honest, too, you know, although he has like 45 fights, something like that, 44 fights, I could probably name like six people off the top of my head. You know, of course, most famously, he fought uh, Saul Canelo Alvarez, Old Cinnamon. You know what I'm saying? One of my favorite fighters right there. Of course, he fought John Gorilla Ryder. He fought Gabriel Rosado, who was, who was, who was an underrated, dope journeyman, man. Shout out to Gabriel Rosado. Love watching him fight, man. I do fight anybody. Um, he fought Takeshi in a way. Uh, he fought Sergey Jevchenko and, and some other people too. But I, my, the point is that he has he has a, 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 a large quantity of fights with uh, a lot of uh, no disrespect, but a lot of low quality opponents. So people are accusing him now of cherry picking Eric Brazilian. But I think that's a bad uh, that's 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 a that's a terrible assessment and that's an erroneous accusation because you know he he's coming off of a loss, man. He lost to an all time great in uh, Saul Canelo Alvarez. And while I do think this could be a good loss for him, meaning he could bounce back and he could get better and improve as long as he uses it as a learning experience. Um, we, we, we still have yet to see how he will utilize that that loss and learn from it. You know, I'm saying like look at Canelo when he first lost to Floyd Mayweather. He lost he was a young bull coming up like Jaime Munguia and he lost to an all time great. You know, and this time Canelo's an all time great. And look, you could argue that that was the best that loss to Floyd was the best that could happen to Canelo's career because he utilized it well and he uh, gained experience from it. And then what he came back a different fighter. He's more sharp, you know what I'm saying? He was a sharper fighter, uh, more evasive. That head movement was crazy that he implemented. You know, he got that from Floyd. What do you mean by that? You know what I'm saying? So um, I think that Jaime Munguia has the ability uh, to bounce back and bounce back in a good way and use use this experience and, and the loss against Canelo to uh, to improve his game. You know what I'm saying? But uh, we'll see if it does. So I think that if you, when you consider all the circumstances, him fighting Eric Bazinian, who's also a, who's still an undefeated fighter, who he, he doesn't know how to lose, you know, because he never lost before. I think this is a good fight, man, and, and, and bounce back fight, man. We'll need the, we'll need the fighters, especially the young fighters um, to to uh, he's not that young, but he, he's still young. I think he's like 28, right? 28 years old. We don't need these fighters. 
fighters to wear themselves out too early. You know, you don't want to take the Jermaine Taylor route, even though Jermaine Taylor and Errol Spence, those are two of my favorite fighters, you know, but let's face it, they didn't take tune-ups. They fought anybody and everybody to their own detriment. So I think having a tune-up fight, especially coming off of a loss, your first loss, this is a good fight, man. And, and the guy's an undefeated fighter, so it's not like he's fighting some slouch. You know, he's not fighting, um, he's, he's not pulling a Teofimo and fighting Steve Claggett. You know what I'm saying? No disrespect to Steve Claggett, but it is what it is. He's a he's a mid-tier fighter, and 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 Teofimo should at least, if he was going to fight him, look a lot better, you know, than, than he did um, against him. So, yeah, I like this fight. Um, Jaime Munguia, he's one of my favorite fighters to watch uh, these days too because he's action packed he throws a high volume of punches a high frequency of punches and he blocks with his face you know what I'm saying all action so he's, <laughs> he's the definition of I don't care but I'm gonna throw it I'm gonna throw these hammers and I'm gonna see if you can take my shots and I don't think you can so and he's with an offensive minded coach of Freddie Roach you know Freddie Roach he's not really known for his defense right so uh, Jaime Munguia man I don't see how anybody can complain when watching Jaime Munguia man uh, he's a very exciting fighter to watch I'm excited for it it's August uh, 20th right so it's August 20th in Arizona, man, in in Phoenix, Arizona, I believe Phoenix. Yeah, I believe it's in Phoenix, Arizona. It was definitely in Arizona one time for Rum Nitty. You know what I'm saying? If you watch Battle Rap, you know Rum Nitty. You know, it's that home, home, home state of Rum Nitty. And yeah, I look forward to this fight, man. September 20th, um, Jaime Lungia versus Eric Bazinian in Arizona, man. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to them, man. Don't forget to like the video. And remember, was as always, most importantly, remember with God, we can do anything. Without God, we're nothing. The doctor's out. Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds, they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.